equipments yeast dried leaves pozo or rainwater white cloth container as you can see there is two container one should have a yeast and the other one shouldn't have firstly you need to put the yeast on the water dried leaves should be added after the yeast the sugar on the dried leaves serve as food for the bacteria and other germs You can see that I used two containers just in case the protists weren't able to live in the other one. Cover it with a white cloth because it will smell awful. First day, you can see the left side become a slightly white. Second day, no noticeable changes. Fourth day, there is a strong odor coming from the hay infusion. Last day, there is still no noticeable changes. But tomorrow will be the day that we will see if there is a microorganism that live. Laboratory day. Procedure, clean the equipment first before using. You need to use a dropper, but we don't have it, so we use a carton as an alternate. Then, a drop of a water on the slide. Then move the course adjustment to give a clearest possible image of protist. This is the result of our hay infusion. As you can see, there is so many living microorganisms and they are called protists. These tiny microorganisms are called paramecium. They are single-celled organisms that belong to the Ciliophora filium. Thank you.